Tron Legacy is like porn for computer geeks. It takes place inside a digital world. There's a hostile takeover, seduction, fights, action. There's a lot going on here and much of it is pretty entertaining. Unfortunately, the story gets a bit bogged down and talky, the 3D is underwhelming, and as a result, the entertainment gives way to kind of a feeling of indifference. Those who remember the original Tron from 1982 know it's set in a computer world called The Grid, invented by Kevin Flynn, who is again played by Jeff Bridges. This time, Kevin is stuck inside the grid and his son Sam comes in to get his father out not knowing that a computer likeness of his younger father, known as Clue, is planning to take over the grid and escape into the real world. With the help of the friendly Korra, Sam must fight to stay alive, save his father, save the grid, and return home safely. The visual effects should be the most impressive thing about the movie, but much of the action in the grid is so dark and murky that it's hard to appreciate all the movie is accomplishing visually. Worse, the 3D fails to have depth because of the dark backgrounds, meaning once again a Hollywood movie is not worth the jacked up 3D price. As for the story, even though it's an intriguing premise, very little of value happens in the first half hour, and far too much time is spent talking inside the grid. We don't need endless action, but director Joseph Kaczynski should have cut out some of the extraneous chit chat and kept things moving forward with a sense of urgency. Tron Legacy has some fun eye candy with some good action sequences set to high octane techno music, but overall it's not tight nor focused enough and visually not quite spectacular enough, believe it or not, to be worth your $10. For Hudak on Hollywood.com, I'm Dan Hudak.